We did not think this through. That has been a huge learning curve. You know, sacrifices you make as a mom. That has been a huge kind of burden financially and I've just... It has been a eventful morning. The kids just found a huge spider, so I went to try to go catch it and release it. I am arachnophobic. I am so scared of spiders. And when I say this spider was big, like she was big, like this big, like oh my Mommy. gosh, wasn't black though. So I'm hoping it wasn't a black, it wasn't a widow. But oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be that easy until I find that spider. But the kids scared it away with all their excitement because they love insects and spiders. And it's very very big. And now I don't even know where it is. It's so that's big. Gonna be, it's very big. It was very big. So it's very, <laughs> I'm very freaking big. Out. I don't want that it's crawling. Very big. I don't want that crawling on me in my sleep or biting me. So not, not on me, in my body. Yeah. <laughs> on my head. We're going on a spider hunt. We're out of coffee this morning, so I need to go get coffee before our day can really start because it is already 11 o'clock and I don't have any coffee, so it's just been a morning. So we're going to go on a spider hunt and then go on a coffee adventure because mama needs some coffee and then start with the rest of our day. So welcome to the vlog. Okay, so we did our coffee run. We had our coffee, or I had my coffee, which is really much needed. The kids are in there playing with their, or in the other room, playing with their love every play kits, which I swear are such a lifesaver. I love love every, and the kids love them too. Anyways, I'm just getting some water. We have been loving our Berkey water filter. Oh my gosh, you guys, like, let me tell you, it's just been great, hold on. So today is really just a very simple day in the life of a homemaker and mom. Not sure exactly what's going down. I know tonight I'm gonna make dinner. I know tonight I'm gonna make dinner and just the normal everyday things. You guys like these mundane, you guys seem to like these mundane vlogs, so here we go. But yeah, so we've been really enjoying our Berkey water filter. We did have some issues setting it up. It wasn't anything like crazy dramatic, but let's just say we had a leaky Berkey. It was leaking everywhere. I think it's because I overfilled it. We had like a leaky Berkey, so that really wasn't fun, but I fixed it. You just don't want to overfill it, and I think that's what I did. My bad. 
but it's just overall been great we did the red dye test which was actually really fun and fascinating to watch we also ordered the extra filters which is the the fluoride filter and the arsenic filter because we use tap water to put it in the Berkey and most groundwater has arsenic and fluoride in it so we just went ahead and ordered those we almost ordered knockoff ones but I'm glad we didn't because the reviews the reviews really weren't that good and so we just ordered it straight from Berkey so it should be good but yeah we're all like fully set up and we've been loving it however we did not think this through with the kids the kids have been loving the Berkey more than we have let's just say that and we have it like at their level because we don't have anywhere else to put it as well as we want them to be able to get their own water like you guys know I'm all here for children independence and Montessori and stuff like that but they have been loving the Berkey and they love water play so they're taking it as like oh this is a good choice a good chance to get water because prior to this I don't know why I didn't think about this they go to the sink all the time and get their own water and start doing water play all the time. So I don't know why I'm shocked that it's even easier for them to get it here. Like why that wouldn't have been an issue. So I'm slowly trying to teach them that we do not get water from the Berkey just to play with. So that has been a huge learning curve and I have found several puddles in my house of water. But other than that, it's been great. And we absolutely love that thing. So I highly recommend it so far and I actually need to um, I keep some water jars in the frit in the fridge so we have cold water as well as just keep filling it so whenever I go to fill it I bring this with me and fill it and then fill one of these so that way it never runs out of water and I don't have to like eh, we don't have any filtered water because we are officially done buying bottled water so that is so so exciting so exciting. Oh, I have this kabucha here that I need to pop in the fridge. This is just apple kabucha. I bottled it up a few days ago and now I am ready to drink this. So I'm gonna put that in. Don't mind my messy fridge. It's been so long since I've done a fridge organization. Do you guys miss that? I used to do it all the time and then for some odd reason, life just got so busy and I kind of just <laughs> haven't done one in a while. So maybe I'll do that soon because my fridge desperately needs it i have been cleaning it i just haven't been full on organizing it all like cute and stuff like i used to because in reality it only lasts for like a week and then it's back to like madness again but it's fun while it lasts right so anyways um let me fill that water filter really quickly and then we'll probably have like a laundry chat too in this vlog at some point when I have a few minutes of just <laughs> quiet to myself they're playing in their play area right now While the kids are playing in the other room I always like to take advantage if I can to get some work done really quickly because getting my work done all at night can be very difficult so while they're playing nicely in the playroom I'm gonna take advantage of that and get a little bit of work done and I have my blue light glasses on already this helps my eyes not be like I get really bad headaches from looking at the screens for too long legit like that is a problem of mine and when I wear my blue light glasses I never have that problem and thank you Zenith for sponsoring today's video I have been loving and wearing their glasses for months now and I can honestly say that I absolutely love them they have blue light glasses which help you not get headaches and eye strain from your screens any kind of blue screen as well as they have prescription which I really enjoy as well you can get all different kinds of prescriptions that are so nice and the frames oh my gosh you guys the frames are so nice and I've been really enjoying their glasses they're nice and lightweight but really good quality 
and I've just been wearing them and rocking them for months now and I am so much in love with their company I will leave their link down below thank you Zenith for sponsoring today's video and now I'm just gonna get on my grind and try to get some work done real quick I am about to upload a video quickly it's already ready to go we have the titles and thumbnail and everything done so I'm gonna go ahead and just get that out to you guys I always get so distracted when I jump on YouTube because there's like so much so many new things so I always just want to sit here and watch videos but I'm like no I need to get some work done because My house needs to be picked up desperately. I uploaded my video and there's just stuff all over. So I really honestly need to pick it up. I just put in a new memory card. So let's hope I don't lose my old footage already starting this vlog. It's <laughs> been a crazy, crazy day. Feels like I haven't accomplished much. I'm going to try to fold some laundry right now. Did a little bit of homeschooling. Yes, Noah? Are you playing nice out there? You're moving my camera stop please I just feel like I haven't gotten much done today it is day two of my cycle and to be honest with you guys I'm just tired I'm starting to like feel it like day two for me is like always the worst I think I'm gonna take a Genexa and just sit here for a little bit Genexa is like natural Tylenol you should definitely try it if you are into natural medicine so it's Tylenol without any of the bad like dyes and um, preservatives and stuff like that so we use Genexa for like everything for the kids like coughs and colds and whatever we really do like them but anyways ask your doctor consult a doctor I'm no medical professional but if you can have the medicines without having all the bad stuff in it like why not all I truly want to do right now is curl up in my bed and watch Grey's Anatomy but it's just always difficult obviously having kids running around I can't really ever do that so I'm just gonna sit here and just try to fold some laundry and chat with you guys so here's like a vulnerable opening up conversation with you of an update of kind of what's been going on and how things have really been here lately well for starters I decided it's the new year and our situation financially has changed a bit so I'm going to take my nails off so they are looking pretty crusty and dusty right now but I just decided that maybe I just don't need to get them done for a little bit I am not saying that I'm never gonna get back to doing them again because I highly enjoy leaving the house and having that me time like a few hours just by myself once a month to do it or a little over once a month but right now my husband's job has been getting rained out a lot and he's been missing a lot of work because they're closed and they shut down when it rains. So that has been a huge kind of burden financially. And I've just been praying and asking the Lord just to get us through because it honestly has been tough. So we have been making a lot of cuts here and there. Meal planning has been a little bit more challenging and just trying to be a little more creative with my homemaking skills that I've learned over the last like two years. Because things, <laughs> our budget is just like tight right now. So that's just where we're at and i'm only sharing this because if you guys are in a tight okay give me a second and we'll see if you're acting good and nice then i'll give them back to you okay is that a deal if you can play nicely with your sister then i'll give them back okay you can take that in another room don't spill it if you're in a tough financial situation too i just want you to know again you are not alone i mean i know you know you're not alone. Life is just tough, especially for young parents out here. We it is just some a of lot. These. Oh, that's sparkling water. <laughs> Dee brought that home from his job, and I'm like, why did you bring home that junk? They're yeah, like yeah, Propel sparkling home. waters, and the kids have been like enjoying those because they don't get juice really or anything. So for them, that's a huge treat. Anyways, it doesn't hurt every now and then, but I am trying to like get rid of those quick. Anywho, yeah, so it's just been a struggle financially, and I just feel like on YouTube. Roar! Okay, Roar, hi. And then that means why Roar says hello. And I just feel like here on YouTube, people don't talk about financial struggles a lot because everyone is like doing their best 
making all this money on YouTube like the majority of the people that I feel like we all We're watch. Put them in on. And it's not like that for everybody. Not right now. I'm working. I just feel like not everybody is doing well financially and a lot of these YouTubers make decent amount of money from doing this, you know? But I'm just not there yet and that's okay. I don't even ever intend for me to make a whole bunch of money off of YouTube. That's not even why I do it, like honestly. I just do it to inspire you guys and have a little hobby on the side. So it's just it's just been tough. And then also January is a tough month for content creators in general coming off of the holidays. I'm filming this about the end of January. So it's just been difficult. It's just been a lot. But I just wanted to give a little insight into that. I've also been cutting a lot of subscriptions that we don't use like Hulu. Oh, well, we actually use someone else's Hulu. Hulu and Disney Plus, things like that. But we get Hulu for free from a friend. But we cut Disney Plus because that's like 10 something a month. We're just trying to like save as much as we can just because it's a lot to live in California. It's a lot to live anywhere in adult, okay? I know that. But I just, you know, if you're struggling in any kind of way financially, just in motherhood, whatever, just never alone. And I never want you guys to feel like you are. So it's just this month has been very interesting. And now we're finally at a point where after being rained out for like almost a month, of his job not a month straight but it's basically been like out of the five days he would work he would only work like two because we've had so much rain and we've never had that much rain ever before in california so i am saying goodbye to them i'm saying goodbye for now to my nails because i just feel like it's just a cost we do not need at this point and then maybe in the future i will pick it up again as well as my nails just need a break you guys like a big break they are so bendy so frail because I've been getting them done. I've been... <laughs> His love every um, really cool weather board. We're going to love this for homeschool, huh? Yeah, but, 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 but we already opened this. Yeah, we can, we're going to use it all the time. Um, but my nails are really frail and fragile and they just really need a little bit of healing time after this past, I don't know, two years I've been getting them done straight. So it's just time, I guess, and just give them a little bit of a break. It's just time. So it's going to be weird to not have nails anymore, but you know, sacrifices you make as a mom. I'm going to miss that me time and try to figure out a different kind of mom time where I can get out of the house and do something else that's not gonna cost a whole bunch of money. It was costing me to get my nails and toes done like $50, $55, $60 a month or every six weeks. So it's just like unnecessary spending I just don't need to do. So I'm just gonna try to just eliminate that and just be a little bit smarter about my money. I am doing a, what's up? Oh, you wanna hug? Hi. Mama needs that right now, thank you. You're so sweet. On a brighter note, I've been watching Grey's Anatomy again, I and I have really been enjoying that. A letter. Oh, this is like a warning thing. It says choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three. Well, good thing you guys are three and over. Anyways, <laughs> so I've been watching Grey's Anatomy again, and that's been really fun, very nostalgic. I started all the way back at season three, and I think I left off at like season five. So I might have to like speed up some because I don't know if I want to watch all that again. But I have been watching Grey's Anatomy again and that's been kind of fun. So yes, I am starting to get that weird headache that I get from folding laundry. Laundry is a blessing. I am always telling myself that, but it is my least favorite chore. I don't know why I get headaches when I fold laundry. Comment below if any of you ever experienced this. I'm not again. sure why, Bye. but it happens almost every single time to me. Bye. I start getting this faint headache so strange yeah. and also on a brighter note i also wanted to say that now my husband's been back to work we've had really sunny days this past week and when i'm filming this it is friday and all week it's been sunny so he has had no problem going to work and i'm so so blessed for that because a girl is starting to worry okay we all need to maintain i don't need to be rich i don't need to have tons of money i just need to maintain and stay a little bit comfortable you know so i've been a bit worried and this last month has been it is friday baby so it has been stressful and i just again how does it pop down this 
but I just wanted to convey to you that if you're in some kind of struggle financially or whatever you are just not alone because I often sometimes have to remind myself that I'm not alone too when I struggle so it's just a little reminder and it's hard to be vulnerable and open about some of this stuff you know but it's just honestly what the last month has looked like for us just really penny pinching and counting every dollar when i'm going to the grocery store and all that it's just been a lot so but we've made it through we're doing well oh, and yes. sunny days are ahead the forecast looks absolutely fabulous oh, yes. so i'm excited about that so no more rainy days like i don't mind a few rainy days there are a lot of sunny days ahead and i'm really grateful for that because the man needs to work <laughs> okay we need our paychecks just to survive so. oh so it's time for dinner finally it feels like it took so long to get to this part of the day but i am just lighting a beeswax candle gonna romanticize my life a little bit while i cook listen to a podcast as well as my street lights bible app which i really really like and pour myself some homemade apple kombucha and just cook i like to cook a few different things at one time tonight it was chili and cornbread and this is just a really easy recipe that i always pull out when i just feel kind of lazy and not want to cook for hours and hours in the kitchen just something so simple a really good like Friday night dinner which would also have a lot of leftovers so I'm doing turkey chili spicing it up real good with cayenne pepper Cajun seasoning salt pepper 21 salute by Trader Joe's and a few other things and that's super simple and then I'm going to start on that cornbread while the turkey is browning I like to do a few different things in the kitchen at one time just to maximize my time so i can get it done as quick as possible especially when i just want to do something quick i am using canned goods for this recipe organic canned goods that way i don't have to worry about cutting up tomatoes and making my own tomato sauce and stuff like that for chili it's supposed to be canned stuff right <laughs> so i do that really simple and now i'm back to the cornbread just mixing all of that together and making that completely from scratch but when it comes to chili i just like to do canned goods because isn't that what chili is supposed to be just really simple and easy but i always do organic and i always strain the corn the beans and rinse them off so you get all of that liquid out of the can juice <laughs> all the liquid from out the can off of your food and then i also really like to clean while I cook that is a huge help when it comes to putting the kitchen to bed at night you don't have to clean up as much and yeah so I put the cornbread in the oven and finished making the chili I did fresh onions and fresh garlic which made a really big difference in the chili recipe I also add a little bit of brown sugar to the chili anything that you're cooking that has tomatoes it's really nice to add a little bit of sugar for the acidity it just kind of balances everything out so I did that put a little cheese on top and called it good we ate this for the next two nights and it was just great we had it for dinner the next night and then lunch the next day and I just love leftovers it makes your life so much easier I ended up doing the dishes and cleaning the kitchen, reading the kids a book and all of that good stuff and really just settling down for the night. So yeah, that's what our night looked like this Friday.